Hello. Do you ever feel tired at the end of a day? Well, that could be because you've travelled over two and a half million kilometres in one day. You have, I have, we all have, because we're all on a spaceship travelling through space at two and a half million kilometres every day. We are on spaceship Earth. We travel at something like 110,000 kilometres per hour. That's fast. Let's read a little bit more about the spaceship Earth. You're aboard Spaceship Earth by Patricia Lorber and illustrated by Holly Keller. The shuttle is blasting off into space. The shuttle carries a crew of six. For a week, the shuttle will be their home in space. On board, they have all the things they need to stay alive and healthy. They have food, they have water, they have oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen is the gas our bodies take from air when we breathe. Once they are in space, the crew cannot stop somewhere for a snack and a cold drink. They cannot open the windows for some fresh air they cannot get any more of anything. Whatever they need must be on board. Someday you may rocket into space, but right now you are aboard a different spaceship. You've been aboard it all your life. Your spaceship's name is Earth. Earth, Earth is your home in space. It is home for every person in the world. We are all aboard the same spaceship. I love this page. Earth is one of nine planets that travel around the sun. Every day, Earth travels 1,608,000 miles, that's about two and a half million kilometers through space. It whizzes at almost 67,000 miles an hour. That's about 110 kilometers an hour. Because we are aboard Earth, we too are whizzing through space. Like the shuttle crew, we can't make stops. We can't get more of anything. But Spaceship Earth has everything we need to stay alive. It has food, it has air with oxygen, it has water. Earth has had the same water for billions of years. Plants, animals and people all use it. Yet, Earth doesn't run out of water because the same water is used over and over again. It is recycled. Most of our water comes from the oceans. Water is drawn into the air by the sun's heat. It becomes a gas called water vapor. Salt from the ocean water is left behind. Water vapor forms clouds. Rain clouds drop their water on the earth. Some of it falls in the oceans. Some falls on land. There, much of the rainwater falls off into streams. The streams flow into rivers, and the rivers flow back into the oceans. Again, the sun's heat draws water out of the oceans. Water vapor forms clouds. It falls again as rain. Water is used in many ways. The roots of plants draw water from the soil. Animals drink water and bathe in it. So do people. Rushing water can be put to work. It can turn machines that make electricity. Hydroelectricity. Pulp mills use water. Other factories do too. Tugs and barges travel on rivers. So do canoes and rowboats. Water fills swimming pools. Heated, it warms buildings in cold weather. It washes clothes, dishes and cars. How many uses can you think of? But after being used, water goes back into the oceans, is drawn up into the air and falls again as rain. Some of the rain that falls on you probably fell on the dinosaurs. Food, water, oxygen. Earth has them all. It's a great spaceship to be aboard. 
Our job is to keep it that way. All of us need to understand how earth works. We need to keep it clean and green. We need to remember that earth is our home in space, that it is really spaceship earth. I hope you've learned something from this great little book. One thing I thought about was the dinosaurs were probably drinking the same water years and years ago as I drink today. Isn't our spaceship Earth just amazing? So our science task for you to do this week is to draw a picture of this water cycle, how water gets evaporated up from the water by the heat and radiation of the sun. It condenses into clouds in the sky and then it falls, another big word we call it precipitation, falls as raindrops into the ocean before it starts that cycle again. We know it as the water cycle. So your job is to draw an illustration, the best one you can, of a water cycle.